Kane! What's up wrestling fans, trading card collectors. Welcome to another episode of Wrestling With Cards. Today we're looking at the top five cards from Kane. As always, when I do these videos, I have to preface by saying these are my top five. Not the most popular five and not the most valuable five. Just the five cards from Kane that I think are the coolest. I gotta say though, coming up with this list, a little bit tough. Because when I think of Kane, I think of that Attitude Era, Fire Brimstone Kane. We didn't know what this guy was doing with his white eye coming out under that mask. That Peak Attitude Era type Kane. And when it comes to the cards, in my opinion, there are not a lot of great selections from an image perspective of that time period of Kane. We either had the cards that came out from Kane during that time period and they really lacked design or image, or the Kane cards that we've had in the more recent releases the design maybe was there, but the image wasn't great. So it was hard for me to actually narrow down to just five. And I think I ended up with like six or seven. I had to pare it down. But we can't do one of these without having an honorable mention. The honorable mention, 1995 WWF Magazine, card number 81, Isaac Yankum. This card is awesome. However, it belongs in the honorable mention category for a few reasons. It creates a lot of controversy within wrestling card collectors. Is it a rookie card? Does it even count as an official card based on it coming out of a magazine? Does this even count as Kane because it doesn't say Kane anywhere on it and it's a completely different gimmick even though it's the same guy. These are all things that I've heard people banter and discuss and argue about within the wrestling card collecting community. But no matter where you stand on these arguments, people just love this card overall, so I had to put it somewhere. Card number five, 2016, WWE Undisputed, card number 17. While I'm not the biggest fan of the masks that Kane would use later on in his career within the WWE, this card is great. The design is cool. It's got that smoky looking border around the side. It fits perfectly with this image and gimmick of Kane in this picture. As I stated, I'm not the biggest fan of this era of Kane from an outfit perspective, but again, this one fits the design of the card very well. In fact, if you took the tops and the WWE logos off of this card, it may even pass for like a non-sport horror type card. The mask and the gear that's got the stitches on it, if you kind of combine the two, a little bit Texas Chainsaw Massacre-esque if you ask me. Not to mention the pose and the positioning of the image in this one, very ominous. Also, you can find parallels of this card, and I believe the one of one is red. So could you imagine finding, maybe somebody out there has got it, the red one of one of this card. Talk about the ultimate color match for the gimmick. Card number four, 2014 Eddie Bus WWE Lamin Cards, card number 35. Another card with that more modern Kane look? Zan, you just said you don't like that look. Why are you putting a second version of that card on your top five? Well, hang on there. Let's talk about it. I'm not sure many people know about these cards, and they're pretty unique. I can't remember off the top of my head, but they're either acetate cards or it's clear plastic of some sort. You can basically see straight through these things other than the image. And again, we've got that Texas Chainsaw Massacre look from Kane here, which is better than corporate Kane or just no mask Kane. But what's fun with this one is when you look at the back of the card. We have what looks like fire, fire embers, an explosion, something along the lines of fire. Maybe it's something else, but that's what it looks like to me. And again, that fits perfectly with Kane's gimmick. So if you're a fan of Kane, if you like to collect Kane stuff, I would recommend going to find this one. Card number three, 1998 WWF Cardinal Trivia. This card checks a lot of boxes. Some people consider this a Kane rookie card, so it's got that going for it. It's a peak attitude era Kane image here. Also, it's a great reminder of what the wrestling card community and hobby was doing during the pandemic, when all of these Cardinal Trivia cards were flying off the shelves, so to speak, and everybody was rookie card hunting. And while this card lacks from design or from features, this may actually be my favorite image of Kane ever put on on a card. Well, Zan, if that's the case, why is it not number one on this list? <laughs> card number two, 2000 Comic Images No Mercy, card number nine. We've got another peak attitude era Kane image here. As far as the design goes, I love the full bleed. There's nothing else on the front of it other than the WWE logo. Has a foil-like finish to it, which is always nice. Add to that what appears to be the hell in the cell in the background of the image that Kane is walking by. And you have what may be the ultimate attitude era Kane card. Card number one, 2013 Best of WWE Jerry Lawler Portraits, card number four. I have always loved art-inspired cards like this one. We've got another Texas Chainsaw Massacre version of Kane, which 
That's three on this list. I didn't expect that. But this one looks very creepy. Very horror comic book style. Also tie into this that another wrestler, Jerry Lawler, is the one who drew the image for this card. Huge Jerry Lawler fan here. Now they do have the one of one printing plates available for this card, which if you want to add another level of creepiness, can you imagine this image on some of those printing plates that are kind of grayed out or kind of take out part of the pictures. Yikes, talk about scary. But I think it would have been cool if they would have offered up original one of ones of the actual sketches that Jerry Lawler submitted to WWE or Tops to get these cards made. Or maybe if they couldn't fit it into a cardboard card form, maybe it was like a redemption type thing where they could send it into Tops and they could actually get then the original sketch if it was like a bigger thing that Jerry had worked on. Just a really cool idea for a one of one Either way, this card rules and this little subset of Jerry Lawler portraits, great concept. And it's just proof that you can still find cool and unique cards when you go digging into older sets. People might be sleeping on these or not talking about them. Maybe they just spend more time talking about newer products or new releases. Meanwhile, there's stuff like this out there. Go dig around in the wrestling card archives. Have some fun. What do you think about Kane's cards? Do you collect Kane? Do you have some of the cards we've talked about today. What are your top five Kane cards? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about Kane, Kane's cards, your top five Kane's cards, or what I've talked about today. And when you're done leaving the comment about Kane's cards that are out there, it sounds like a chicken place, like Kane's Chicken, Kane's Cards. Could you imagine if there was a hobby store named Kane's Cards and Kane was the operator and he talked to that box the whole time? But anyway, make sure to check out the links in the show notes for all the ways you can help show your support for my content. Links to Wrestling With Cards on Patreon, links to my eBay store, social platforms, my podcast, and much more. If this video brought you some value, some information, and maybe most importantly, some entertainment, hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and until next time, until the next video comes out, click the videos on the screen for more great wrestling card content. I'll see you there.